talk about the Super Bowl halftime. So, Super Bowl is going to be this Sunday. And Eminem is out in L.A. He did a pop-up, uh, or he's doing a pop-up this weekend for Mom Spaghetti. He's getting it popping. You know what I'm saying? Snoop's got some new music coming with Nas. He's getting it popping. Dre just put out a stream of, uh, well, he got six songs available for streaming from last week. He's getting it popping. Mary is dropping an album next week. And everybody's waiting on Kung Fu Kenny. Still no signs of Kendrick Lamar's music. Um, performance is coming up this Sunday. Do you think we're going to get some new Kendrick Lamar music this Friday? I think he's been influenced by Andre now more than on an artistic <laughs> level, apparently. This nigga taking too long. I'm super pissed right now. Silence is golden. Like, he's... Uh, Ain't nobody trying to hear that shit. I guess somebody music. told him that, you know, you're going to get ranked higher if you don't make any more music. Oh, is that what they told him? They lied to him. <laughs> they lied to both of them. Because people they, who are um, inactive somehow get held higher in hip hop. Not, not anymore, Mike. That's over. Tell them that's over. You haven't rapped regularly in 22 years and five years, respectively. Where's your shit? So it's a no for you. You don't think that Kendrick's coming out Friday before the Super Bowl? I don't even care anymore. The fact that he hasn't seized this moment while everybody... It's like, Mike, I told you, it's like, what, when we were having that Jay Electronica conversation a couple of years ago, it's like, oh, I'm not about to care and promote it because he don't seem like he care and promoting it. So we're not going to talk about it no more. Well, well you know, how, how would you feel if Kendrick Lamar care, ends up on one care. of these Super Bowl commercials? You don't care, we don't care, then. How about that? No, 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 you got to start giving these dudes the same energy back. It's like, oh, you don't care about your all-time great rap career? Well, then why should we, nigga? We got plenty of great rappers to replace you next. Who are we talking about next? So how do you feel if uh, Kendrick Lamar ends up one of these super... Uh, excuse me, I can't even talk. How would you feel if Kendrick ends up on one of these Super Bowl commercials Sunday? Has he been so far? I mean, I don't know. I mean, he's performing. First of all, man, all right. The game got dramatic on the way. Right. And so... I don't even really know why Kendrick's actually on this bill. And I say that respectfully because I, I I hold Kendrick high. You know that. He hasn't dropped any music. I than you do, I think. Kendrick hasn't dropped any music in five years. We know that. But the music he has dropped, it's not like he has hits that stand next to any of the acts that are up there on that stage. And y'all know I talk my shit about Eminem and all that. Eminem belongs on that stage. He is a super, super star. He's a pop crossover star, and let's just be real. He connects to that NFL audience, right? So I get that. Um, so he deserves to be up there. Snoop has monstrous hits. Mary has a huge hit with Dre. Dre has monstrous hits. She's married. But Mary. Kendrick? She's married. Yeah, she's married. Kendrick, I'm not even sure what song he's going to perform. And I think that for him being the current guy in the lineup, we would expect music from him over anybody else. And it seems like everybody else is delivering something new except for him. So oh, if Kendrick's so not yeah, bringing Mike. if Kendrick's not bringing new music, I don't know why he's even on this lineup. Is what Mike. I'm saying. Mike, caveat still one final opportunity for a sneak attack where his new music is going to start getting previewed in the first set of ads before the halftime show. Okay. Then we get the new music live at halftime because that's all that's left. I don't that's, think that's... I'm, I'm telling you, Mike, I don't think that's going to happen. Mike, and you want to know why I don't think that that's going to happen? Andre 3000. We've held on before. Like, that's why I keep talking about him and what he's doing and yeah. how he's moving. Mike, who he sound like on To Pimp a Butterfly the most inspired by? <laughs> Andre... I ain't trusting none of this shit from this. this so you're creative. blaming Andre for his uh, I'm not inactivity. Blaming, I'm not blaming Andre. I'm just saying, I, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. So I can see the tree that he come off of. I can see the behavior. I can see how this went before. I can see the investment. If he don't show up at the Super Bowl, I'm going to need the check because I'm out. Because it's been five years. Freddie Gibbs. Conway yeah. from the team. 
Pusha T, Nas for like the third generation of his career, he got, having like his third career right now, he's having his third career, we're waiting you to come back from your first one, like, hell no, it's like, because it's like, that's what I'm saying, is it's like, what Andre did do, for me, somebody that's a fan, is, it's like, no, I don't want to hear this five year break and all this stuff, that, that. no, 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 you rap or you don't, Yeah. rap, do you rap well, are you great, show me, Michael Jordan, at, jo- Michael Jordan took three years off, Came back with smoking cigars and drinking, and I can still see that he was great. Show me you're great. And you know what? I was talking this stuff about Andre maybe like a year or so ago. Same thing with Kendrick. I think, I think that Nas's current run with King's Disease and King's Disease Two and this Magic has That's shown wrong. has shown you like this is ridiculous. This Mike, is ridiculous. It, it, Mike, do you understand the last three projects that Nas has dropped? is comparable to Kendrick's best run. He's only had one run, Mike. This is a guy on his third or fourth run. I think the difference between Kendrick and Andre is the fact that Kendrick says stuff like smoking on your top five, and he says, you know, basically, he's out here to be the best. He's singing he's the best. Yeah, when you're saying you're the best, you have to consistently prove that. First of all, you're not smoking on Nas, so you're not smoking on anybody's top five right now. How about that? You're not. But again, Just, like, like I always exist, say, bro. Like Nas exists and breathe life like right now, again, like lyrically like this. It's like, well, you're not, you're not even, Mike, I want you to understand this. Just about the zone that Nas is in right now takes him out of conversation to be the best lyricist when he comes back. So what you were has already been taken from you because you're not Conway or Nas lyrically on the mic right now, how they're operating, because their prime lyricism that we're seeing right now, Nas' second prime, is better than your prime lyricism. Like, does Kendrick have mic performances like the truth? DiCarlo or, says, you know, Mike, like, it's time you know, to give the crown to J. Cole. I'm not mad at that. I can't, I can't disagree. I'm not mad at that. I can't, I cannot disagree. I can't I disagree. disagree. I, can't, I can't disagree. Cause, because you know what, Cole has been active in a very in active state. state. And in when state. there's a lot of guys around, he got on the Benny song and he did his thing. And like I said last week, he didn't go on there, you know, saying some super long verse, rapping all fast. He just Trying went out there and up. did his thing. And he showed that he was the superior MC of the two, of a guy who's super qualifiable. A guy whose buzz is super high. No, Mike. He out rap a guy who can arguably himself be the best MC in the game. What does Straight that up. think about him? Straight up. Right. So like this Kendrick shit. And he's not and he didn't even make no bones about it. He didn't make a big deal about it. He just did his thing. And you're like, yeah, he's that and Mike, guy. He been getting busy, and, and he been getting busy like that for about the last two years steady, while the other guy that is clearly more talented. Has not been operating, but this is not. This is what I mean about how rap is an important type of sport. Like, and I compare it to tennis. Oftentimes, in tennis, Mike, just like rap, your skill is gonna take you certain places. Your will gonna take you over the top a lot of the time when you're dealing with comparable competition. Yeah, like that skill shit. When the skill, when it run into the will, starts showing. So what we're starting to see right now is we're starting to see J. Cole's will and love to be a prominent MC, even though his peak and his prime in terms of how he's viewed may be more on the back nine than the front nine. He's like, nah, nigga, I can still show up and perform against anybody because this is what I do. And I'm he's not MC. scared to do so. These niggas sitting up here acting like, oh, well, I'm a great MC, but when I feel like being a great MC, if you don't get out of here with that delicate ass shit, this is rap. Don't you understand that? Yeah. Get uh, out of here with that delicate ass shit. I rap when I feel like it. No, get out of here with that soft ass shit. This is rap, fam. And Michael <laughs> says Kendrick's gonna surprise you guys. I don't think he is. Yeah, so Sunday, if he surprises me on Sunday with some new music, we'll be fine. But what I don't want to hear is anymore. Smoking on your top five. I don't want to hear any more references to be you being the best MC of the game. Like you're some sort of savior. Because the thing is, when the game got competitive, you went away. Right. And you came around in a week time. I want to see you perform against this competition. And nothing, nothing for a guy like me is going to do. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to talk about how you don't compete against top-notch competition. Because Cole could have done the same thing. Cole could have went away. 
No, because his legacy is intact. He did. No, Cole is earning extra stripes right now because yeah. Cole is operating in new climate with new mm-hmm. conditions. Yep. New competition and thriving because he's a motherfucking MC, Mike. He is. He's you know, MC. you remember the Jeezy song, right? Where they were making a big deal about, you know, Cole and Kendrick being on the same record. Mm-hmm. Cole got on there and rapped. Kendrick rap, rap, got rap. on there singing. Like something that, you know, my favorite rapper Andre 3000 would do. No, we're not having that shit no more, Mike. That shit a rap. Like, nigga, like, like y'all, y'all made y'all bones rapping. Y'all get respected off rap. Yeah, you're not you're not a top ten singer all the time. Right, right, no, no, no. If you want to be respected as a singer, or as an ad placer, or a marketing guy, or a movie, <laughs> retire from rap and let's see how many roles you get. Retire from rap. Go go out. I, I wish I wish either one of them would formally go retire from rap. But the funny thing is, go. though, Coop, none of them will say, you know what, I'm really done with rap. No, because they get so much stuff based on what they've done for a brief moment in time with, in both of their cases in about a five, six year run in rap and they live off and exist off of it. And there's nothing wrong with that, but stop making it seem like you that dude or stop making it seem like we should wait on you. Stop no, making it seem- I, no, I will say this in Andre's defense. He doesn't walk around like that, right. but people give him that. It'd be, anyway. convenient, it'd be convenient how he pops up. It become, it's getting it's getting too convenient for That's me. probably going to be a Super Bowl commercial, I would imagine. That Squarespace commercial is probably a Super Bowl commercial because they released it today. That's very problematic, Mike. It's what it is. You know, another thing I didn't like, speaking of Super Bowl, when Big Boy was uh, doing the Super Bowl in Atlanta and people had decided for whatever reason that they're not going to support anybody black performing at the halftime show but all the players that were playing were black and anyway everybody was coming down on big boy it took CeeLo to come out and support big boy because again the super bowl is not in atlanta every year and if big boy is doing the super bowl halftime show in atlanta you know what i'm saying like it just makes sense not to mention that his son was going to um was in co- was about to go into college football and it's trying to get to the NFL. So what's he t- supposed to say? Kiss my ass? Whatever. Anyway, it took CeeLo to stand up for Big Boy. Andre said nothing while Big Boy was catching all this heat about performing at the halftime show at the Super Bowl. Come on, man. So why is Big Boy performing at the halftime show of the Super Bowl that year? Because the Super Bowl is where? In Atlanta. Mike. It's the only to... reason why he did it. Mike, once again... Let's go ahead and say this. He's an ambassador for the city. Big Uh Boy is the king of Atlanta, in my opinion. The the Super Bowl is going on in Atlanta, Georgia. The home place of what hip-hop group, Mike? Outcast. And once again, this guy is not showing up in a time where he really needed to show up about his city. About his partner who showed up. Yeah. Let's contextualize it and go to what's going on this Sunday, Mike. Where's the Super Bowl at, Mike? That's in Cali. It's in LA. And, and who they rolling out, Mike? Who they rolling out in Inglewood? Dr. Dre. And who all jumping behind Dr. Dre? Snoop Doggy Dog. Snoop Dogg. I would say Doggy Dog because he's doing death row stuff. <clears throat> Mary J. Blige, Eminem, and Kendrick Lamar. You see what I'm talking about now with Andre? Support. It's support. You see what I'm talking about now with Andre? Support your homies. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, support your homies. And it, and like you said, Andre Bowl wouldn't be... And Big Boy, the Super Bowl is in Atlanta and Big Boy is performing by himself. Because he... All-time, yes. No, this is yeah. some all-time sucker shit that we giving hall passes out to that we not giving out hall passes to anymore. Understand the sucker shit. Big boy performing by himself in Atlanta, but they rallying around Dre and Cali. What I tell you about that Cali vibe, Mike, how they support their artists. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. It'd be some sucker shit sometime. Let's call the sucker shit what it is and stop holding him up so high when he doing sucker shit to his man. I don't care if y'all are friends. I don't give a shit. Support my job homie, man. Support the hip hop media and news, which means when the Super Bowls coming to Atlanta, if you can get a Squarespace commercial around the time the Super Bowl is being held in L.A., get your motherfucking ass on stage when Big Boy... <laughs> well, no, even if you don't get on Atlanta, stage, 
Even for the if you, Super look, Bowl. No, no, no. 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 Like all that. no, no, no. I want it all. Now get your ass on stage. Cool. Even, even if you got stage fright. Stage now. I don't want no ad. <laughs> I don't want no appearance. Now I want you on stage because now I want people to understand what it looks like. When the Super Bowl coming to Inglewood and in L.A., Dr. Dre got all the homies round up around him. Big Boy sitting out here on a solo mission and CeeLo got to stand up for him. Yeah. So, I didn't like wrong? that. Who's the star of all the rappers in Atlanta that ever came out? Even above T.I. Who we all talk about, Mike? Three. Sick of this sucker shit. I mean, like I said, man, you gotta support shit, your homeboys, man. Like, I don't get it. Shit, now. You doing commercials? You should have never told me that on live. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> he should have never said that to me on live. You should have taken me like that. He didn't like, like the commercial, guys. I don't. I don't want to see the commercial. Fuck the commercial. Oh shit. man. No. Well, see, you know what? It's you, uh, got that, you got that commercial off rap, and you discredit rap and your partner and rhyme at every turn. No, nigga. No. I'm sick of this halfway shit. <laughs> No. And that's why, you know what, that's why I've been championing Big Boy so much, man, because Big you Boy... You think that we could rap down here the nerve of you, nigga? No. Big Boy is the ultimate partner, man. He's yeah, held it down. Shout out to Big Boy and not that other nigga. <laughs> that's some sucker shit if I seen it. <laughs> we need to start calling it what it is. This shit Kendrick doing, sucker shit. Shout out to the rap round table in here, man. <laughs> Um, rap Shout round tables rap in the chat. Ain't on no sucker shit. Man, we love the verses. The people love the verses, and we might be challenging y'all to a new one because um, Coop, tell them. You oh, said you got you got oh, Nas man. features for him, right? Mike, I'm upset. If, <laughs> I see. The, if you're just Ooh. tuning in, the Andre 3000 Ooh. Squarespace Hershey, commercial has Hershey, Coop you upset. Ain't wrapped in 22 years. How you get the commercial? From your movie roles? No, no. It's roles? because, bro, it's because y'all hold him so high as an individual. I'm done, Mike. I'm as an good. individual. Squarespace commercial ads and Big Boy just dropped the best rap album of his career. I'm done, Mike. I'm pissed. <laughs> I don't wanna see I don't wanna see no big get posts taking up for why fam ain't there. I don't wanna see Big Boy posting him at his son's games. I don't give a shit because I'm talking about the rap shit. And about the rap shit about it, he foul, he out of line. Because everything that you have is based on this rap shit. That's real. That's real. Let's so talk to Rap Roundtable real quick since they in the chat. Oh, I'm so mad. I don't give a fucking commercial, nigga. You got a lot of nerve, nigga. We've been taking up for you, ma. Been taking up for you most of my adult life. Coop has been definitely taking up for you. You could go to previous episodes. You can go to so many episodes I... where I'm taking up for you. Because <laughs> I was talking about I'll shit. Take, I'll never take up for him ever again, Mike. Ever hey. again about anything. Well, I ain't taking up for him no more. You know. I'm still an Outcast fan, but you know. Shit, I don't want to hear the Outcast records like that right now. Either. Dang, nah, you know. I still nah, love there's Outcast. some sucker shit going on. Let me ask you this though: Do you think that Outcast is going to get into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? I don't know. They probably going to base it. They probably going to base it off of he going to show up or not. So probably not. Oh, he's going to show up. He'll show up to that. Oh, that oh, he'll show, show up. Them, right? Yeah, oh, he'll, he'll show, show up for them. Yeah, he'll show up to that. Mike, I would prefer if he didn't make this. <laughs> he'll one. show up to that. How about this? Since you don't show up for nothing else involved in this culture, how about you keep on not showing up? Right. Nah, he'll show up to that. He'll show up to that. That's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Keep that shit right now. That's what he can do. Rap Roundtable says y'all letting Coop slander K dot. I mean, we're both. Listen, this is the whole thing. Slander and K dot. I'm speaking facts. That nigga don't rap no more either. He's not coming out with. Listen. How many verses have we got since 2016 out of this nigga? I'm like, I'm like everybody. No, fuck this shit. I'm sorry. Kendrick Lamar's nice. not dropping an album this year. I'm tired of being nice to this nigga. When did damn come out? That was 2017. I think it was like in March. I know it was the early part of the year. What like year? I think it was April to be exact. April, something like that? Okay. April so we're coming 20. up on five years. Coming up on five years. Mike, how many verses have we got from Kendrick Lamar since then? Uh, He jumped on Baby Kim's joint twice last year. We got the Black Panther soundtrack, so we got like what? We got oh, like man, the Black Panther. 
Listen, man, versus- let's keep it real, man. The Black Panther soundtrack was for me. Let's keep it real right quick on how much this nigga ain't rapped the last five years. <laughs> like, 20 verses, 20 verses in five years since your ass rapped on a regular basis. So sick of these niggas. You nah, 20, man, you know, he's not dropping, man. Has he done 20 verses? Mike, has he done 20 verses in the last five years? Is that a fair estimate of verses to say that he's I don't think he's done 20 verses in the last five, five years. years. Five years. That's sixty months, Mike. So if he's done an av- if he's done twenty verses in the last five years, Mike, that's an average of one verse every three months. And that's if he's done <laughs> I'm tired of talking about this shit with these niggas. You understand what I'm saying? This the thing rap round table, man. We've been talking about these dudes like they rap. Do you rap? Do you, have you done more than one verse every three months in the last five years? Because I don't think we got twenty verses. From this guy in the last five years, I'm so sick of this weak ass shit. Niggas is active right now. Nas just dropped two albums in one year. Mike, in I his think... 27th year of his career. Mike, there's 20 verses on magic. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's it's pretty sad. Listen, my thing is, man. Um, Does Andre Kendrick... 3000 have 20 verses in the last 20 years that we can clarify clearly? No, not really. Well, do we have 20 verses in the last 20 years from him? I don't know. That's a stretch. These niggas off to the side, please. They don't. Yeah, know. yeah. Um, they're, listen, they're I just don't. Them. I guess I just don't understand why oh, Kendrick's on the lineup. Oh, uh, I don't understand why Kendrick's on the Super Bowl lineup if he doesn't have any new music coming. And I don't think that Kendrick's dropping an album this year. Period. I think that the climate is too heavy. I think that Pusha T's coming out very, very soon. Um, I think that Conway and Benny are coming out very soon. We're probably going to get another J Cole project pretty soon. With all the collaborations he's doing, Freddie Gibbs is coming out at some point pretty soon. And honestly, man, there's no direct lane for Kendrick to just dominate. So I don't think he's going to attempt it. Um, I think that sonically, things are totally different than they were five years ago in 2017. So he's going to have to do something sonically different because that's stuff that he was doing on Baby Kim's project. I don't think that kind of production is going to work for him. Okay, Mike. So I was wrong. It's been 58 months since he released an album. And he hasn't done 20 verses. No, he hasn't. I, I was going to say, where'd you get that number from? Because I, I was thought being it was well nice. under. I was being nice. And so I want you to understand. And I want people to listen to this. He doesn't even average two verses every three months for the last five years. Listen to what I'm saying. Where else can you go and be considered to be great at your job where your output is that you show up maybe two times every three to six months in a five-year stretch? Where? So you're, where? Push, okay. you're pushing Kendrick behind Pusha T and Jadakus. That's what I'm hearing. Mike, he about to catch a fade like ain't nobody caught in a minute. You think he's going to, whenever he does drop, you think he's going to drop a dud or you think he's going to return to prominence with it? Is there anything that he could do at this point that could redeem the five-year break? Yes, he can make an album that sounds better than KD3. He can make an album that sounds better than Pusha T's album, Freddie Gibbs' album, Benny the Butcher's album, Conway the Machine album since he's smoking on my top five. Right, remember that? You're smoking, you smoking on top five. That's my top five. Let's see you make albums better than my top five. Because I'm going to spend the rest of this year Mike, every time, if I do hear something, be like, what top five was he talking about smoking on again with his five-year absent having ass? Like, why do these niggas think that it's okay not to be dedicated to this craft? Right. Like I said, it's been, it's, it's been told to them that you can do that and be held high. Shout out right. to uh, Ray Realms. He says that uh, the right. next time you brothers in the rap, battle rap roundtable, there needs to be... Um, more independent and impartial judgment. Uh, like we need a panel. We need oh, a panel God. outside of the panel. Yeah, we need a moderator. Ooh, moder. Ooh, Mike. I like that. I like the moderator idea. Somebody to be like, eh, eh. This is what it is. But somebody with a with a valid rap opinion too. I like that idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got a uh, definite. Well, I don't like his rappers who don't rap that make a whole fortune and living and career off of not rapping after rapping for a brief time. I mean, we just have to factor that in in the overall scope. And no, I no, think no. that... Say you don't rap. Say you don't rap. Say you don't rap on a regular basis. Like, say you don't rap 
and let's see what your life look like when you say you don't rap. It's kind of like you get what I'm saying. That's why. Oh, sore thumb to... says Kendrick is already certified. He could take ten years off and still have a better catalog. Then who? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> we about to have it today. What the fuck are you talking about? His catalog no, is strong. It ain't ten years off strong because Rock yeah. M took five years off, and his catalog's not better than Rock M's first three albums. And we were giving Rock M shit about taking five years off. So no, catalog ain't like that. Next. But even with that, Rock Him continued to work. You cannot just do nothing. Like what we can accept is if Kendrick's putting out efforts and they aren't as good as the previous ones, right? We could take everything into consideration. But if you don't do anything, you can't sit there and sit on that and you're sitting on your throne and you're still up there. You can't do that. I got to go get the charger to this plug right quick so this doesn't go dead, Mike. I want you to pull up all of Kendrick's verses since 2017 <laughs> while I'm gone. Pull up Andre 3000's verses too, Mike. We about to talk about seven verses in the last seven years. Go get your charger real quick. Yeah, Coop is heated right now. We didn't even expect to be on this long. But do you guys believe that Kendrick's actually going to drop some material before the Super Bowl? And if he doesn't, I mean, what really is the point of doing the Super Bowl? I think that the better question, too, and y'all could say this in the chat also, what song do you think Kendrick's actually going to perform in the Super Bowl halftime? <laughs> Saying, cool, get him. Ten years off, uh, Drake clears Kendrick. I agree. Ten years off, we can't sit here and factor in everything that J. Cole's doing and sit here and say that Kendrick's even in the same league as J. Cole if he took 10 years off. Hold on, first of all, Mike, this is why I keep bringing up the Rock Him break. I want you to understand this. Kendrick Lamar and Andre 3000, you're not Rock Him. You're That's not facts. Rock him. <laughs> That's, That's facts. Fact. Rock Him took five years off, and we was giving him smoke about taking five years off. Who do you niggas think you are? And his group broke up. His group you broke up. The leader. You didn't make late the rhythm hit him. Like nigga, none of you, you niggas aren't the author of like ten of the fifty greatest rap songs ever before the age of thirty. Like, who do you think you are? I don't know. You're not even the god. Stop that. Somebody but you know what? I think that the people, making, the people make these niggas think they yeah. more special than they are. You're not even Rock Him. Neither one of you. Show up and perform. Get the fuck out of here with that. I don't think Kendrick's dropping anything this year. Well, good. You think well, he's good. dropping like, this year? Like that I don't might be best for him because he might get smoked and exposed because he's not Rock M. No, no, is he? No, he's That's not Rock M. No. no, he's not Rock M. Rock M took five years off. When you're arguably the greatest MC of all time who ever lived and walked and breathed, you can take five years off and maybe get away with it. You niggas can't take this time off and get away with. It. Who told you you was God? Not to mention the foundation that Rock M set. When he came in the game, like he changed the game oh, lyrically, he changed the pace. He could walk away. Right, he might. He ten years ahead of the craft on an MC level. Yeah, yeah. Andre we, and Kendrick ain't never been ten years ahead of nothing or nobody. No, that's real. That's Who real. Who do you think you are? Stop acting like you something that you not. That's what I'm saying. It done got to like this arrogant, haughty level of it where it's like, hold on. You great know you're not right, great right? comment from Taz Angel. Shout out to her. She says no, they, no, she said kidding. they suffer from King's disease. Ooh, my they are. They suffering from King's disease. She's right. Yeah. Like you, you niggas stats are inflated. It's like y'all ain't even top five niggas. What is you talking about? No. Nah. Like nah. and Kendrick yeah. was well on his way. Was Mike five years ago. Yeah. Five years ago. Because the thing is, man, in this era, how quickly music comes out, there's no excuse to take a five-year break. And whenever we do hear this new Kendrick album, it better sound like you took a five-year break. Oh, Mike, And I don't think it will. Mike, I'm officially grading him on the harshest curve that I've ever graded. <laughs> in my life. I ain't even about to... Like, no, it's not about... No, everything better be fucking flawless. Like, you done talk to your... Mike, he does. He started talking shit on control, and never stopped talking shit. And I was like, man, you better hope this climate don't ever change on you. The climate has changed. You better make the product. You better make the album. I'm gonna be the first person to break your shit down. 
inch for inch, beat for beat, rhyme for rhyme, critique it, toss that shit up because you talking about it. Like, no, he was talking on damn like he was rock him in 88. Like yeah. he was Nas in 94. Like he was Jay in 99. Let's find out. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Kendrick. I heard him let's just say. Big boy talk on there about his MC skills. Let's okay? just say. Let's just say, Coop. Come outside. Come outside. Let me see. It. Let me let's see. Let me say. see. Come outside with all these dudes can rap. Because <laughs> they want dudes that can rap in 2016, 17 like this. They can rap their ass off now. It ain't just cold. Cool, Bring cool, your ass cool. outside. Let me see it. Coop. Cool. Let's just say the Pusha T, Benny the Butcher, Conway, Freddie. And uh, J Electronica, J Cole, and Kendrick all on the same song somehow. I'm not confident that Kendrick walks away with the best verse like that. Mike, I don't think he's walking away with the best verse. Mike, I'm going to go back to nostalgia on Pusha T's My Name Is My Name again and remind people that that was Kendrick at his peak with his all time buzz, and people still wouldn't hit the pusher like that. And that's a draw at best. Stop acting like this guy is above and beyond the stratosphere of being touched. Well, I mean, that was a very, that was a very entertaining show. Is there anything else we have to cover here? King's disease, two, <laughs> magic from a king to a god. Pray for Paris, Alfredo, Astro World, Mike. Don't nobody give a fuck about damn no more. All right. I you mean, I think you Dan has been forgotten, to be perfectly honest. It might, because what happened is, is the competition stepped up, the album level making got stepped up. I told you, it's like, if he makes an album that's equivalent to Dan, that's not going to cut it for the shit that he has talked. I don't think people are even looking for a new Kendrick Lamar album like that anymore. I mean, if it comes, it comes. I don't agree with that, Mike. No, no, if it comes, it comes, but I don't think that people are sitting here like, man, if it doesn't come, my year is ruined. It's so right. much to look forward to. So here's what I'm saying when I'm saying he's not Rock Him, and here's what I mean about how we about to find out. You remember when Rock Him dropped the 18th letter? Mm hmm You know what we all said? He's still the greatest MC of all time. You think anybody's going to say that if Kendrick don't drop no classic shit? Right, because you're not that. So I suggest you bring your ass out here and perform. Because Rakim could come out on the 18th letter and make a dope album, but show references that gave credence to the fact of the guy that we heard on those first four albums that was the greatest MC of all time. You don't have it like that on your first four albums. Yeah. You didn't make my melody. You didn't make Eric B. as president. Follow the leader. Microphone fiend. Mahogany. Don't sweat the technique. Casualties of war. Let the rhythm hit them. Alpha and Omega. You get what I'm saying? Mike, you don't, I ain't no joke. You, I know you got soul. You didn't make these records. You ain't never <laughs> had it like that. The climate was weak. And I want to hear this. Mike, this shit better be great. These niggas better be great. Every Andre 3000 verse from now on better be great too because that's how you really are getting recognized and notarized out here in this motherfucker since you don't realize it either. These niggas got a lot of money. Yeah, I, uh, you know, I, I think I think at this point, calling niggas out. I think a lot of people in the in the Cole Kendrick Drake generation are leaning towards J Cole being their goat of their generation, and the people who lean towards the hits, they say Drake. They should. So you know, I'm officially gonna let them do that because, yeah, because you're not rocking, and you don't just get to disappear for five years and think that we're supposed to like pop back up and be so like in thrall or in awe you like nigga you was never not you was never big you was never jay you was never pop like like to start off with you was never that yeah right I, I knew it was a bad sign when he put that letter out there i'm I like we out here making music, music and you put in out letters you remember what mike you remember what i sent you when you sent me that letter i don't remember what you <laughs> what did you send me it was some very unkind emojis that were expressing how I was feeling about the situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. About the behavior. About the about the type of behavior. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Where the music at? Where the uh, music at, nigga? Well, we'll see Friday. We're, we're doing a show Friday. We're going to be covering new music like we normally do on Friday. It is, Mike. It won't be his. Mm -hmm. Like, I want people to understand, too, Mike. For about a year and a half, I've sat on this show, and I have championed Andre 3000. And Kendrick Lamar, have I not? Yes, you have. And what have they done? 
<laughs> the same shit that they had done when you were talking about them and championing which is them. What, now, hold on, which is what? There we go, Mike. What have they done again? Say that again, so the people not a thing or not a goddamn thing. They I was the one talking that stuff, like, and that's okay. why I'm sitting here letting you talk because I said this a year, year and a half ago. <laughs> you want to know what it is about, Mike? <clears throat> My life is a little different now. I got more freedom than I've ever had before in terms of how I set my work schedule, Mike. But I get up every single day and I go to work. Yeah. I go to work about the life insurance with NASB. I go to work about according to hip hop. I go to work about Crafts by Cooper, but every single day about my job slash career, about my entrepreneurial business about our endeavor i get up and i go to work yep. every single day i'm 40 years old mike and so when i got niggas that rap that are making millions of dollars that are younger than me or older than me living the dream like, live and you got and you got everything that you because mike let's not get it twisted you and i both know we're blessed we have great lives nigga you don't want to get up and go to work and you want me to respect you as a man? Come catch me out here in the streets, nigga, and say that shit to me about how you don't like the work while I'm busting my ass like this. What you think gonna happen, Mike? Yeah, what man. you think gonna happen with any average regular man like that? And so I want people to understand what's really going on. These are men, and, and I want you to understand this is a problem in our community because we talk about our work ethic a lot. Yeah. Well, they don't champion these men's work ethic or lack thereof. Because I hear black women specifically in our culture speak to our work ethic being an issue sometimes. Well, then don't give these niggas no hall pass because these niggas not going to work. Me and Mike, Mike, Mike. He's not when it comes music? to music. Mike, Mike, and it's music. Like, you get to go to the studio and listen to beats and write all day and you are struggling with this shit, my nigga? What the fuck is wrong with you? It's expression. It's like... Uh, oh, well let, well, let me express that you can go walk around with me and deal with people who have diabetes and toe amputations or people who are recovering from cancer that can't get the insurance yeah. they have even though they're hard working or people who are elderly and having their grandkids take advantage of them because they don't like to go to work either like come out mm. here and talk the real world and kick this shit no you you're right in and pad and write a rhyme because i see i see the type of shit every day Oh, it'll inspire you to write a rhyme. Maybe you'll ask me to go outside and stop being so fucking insulated. Yeah. No, you're right. People living a real life out here. And I'm sure a lot of right. people in the chat, they might be at work right now, or headed just, to work, or just, just got went, off work. I just went through some real shit the last two days with a family that affected me. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, I could write about this situation for the next two years, but my ass was outside working, Mike. You got to be in tune with the people. And on that note, man, we're going to get up out of here, man. We appreciate everybody in the chat being real um, engaging today. And we want everybody to subscribe to According to Hip Hop on YouTube. Hit the bell icon. Tell some of your folks to subscribe, too, because we have the realest hip hop conversations in here. And Coop was unfiltered today. And you was keeping take it all the way real. Work. I mean that shit. These niggas better take their ass to work. I take my <laughs> ass to work every day. Are you a man? Or not. Hey.